What is going on guys? I wanted to go over today how as a small business, I wanted to empower our CRM to be the best version of itself. And disclaimer, I'm actually using the free version of this CRM. This CRM is Atio. It's probably one of the best CRMs that I've used. And I've used HubSpot, Pipedrive, Salesforce, um, Folk, uh, and Atio for me really takes uh, the top for a few different reasons, but one of the most important reasons why, and like everything that I ever do, the API is incredibly good and useful for getting data in and out of the system. And they're really innovating for like the future. And so if you haven't used Atio, go check it out. It's almost like an air table on steroids is probably like the way I would describe it. And so it fits into the style in which I love to work. Um, but I wanted to go over today how I'm using it to centralize data in a way that I don't think many people are. And so if you're a, if you run a product company or a tech company, I should say, you're probably using something like post hog or something similar. So what I have is I have our post hog set up to Atia and you can do this by the way on their free subscription as well. And I am basically connecting every single different element and different feature set straight into Atio, um, which is then essentially giving me this entire overview where I can start to see um, when they last logged in and then all of the different feature sets that they actually used throughout their kind of time in using us. But what, no, what only I've done there is I've then started to build off the back of this information, i.e. the features that they've used and when they last logged in, um, essentially like a risk status, right? And so you can see here, we've got different risk, risk statuses assigned to various different uh, individuals based on the plan that they have with us. And to do this, I'm using uh, NA10 and there's no agent actually involved in this one. This one is more of a kind of basic uh, automation process. So what we're essentially uh, doing here is we are, first of all, using this particular query, which is going and finding any individual that is linked to a company where they're basically in a paid uh, subscription um, with us. And what it's going to do is it's going to find uh, those people. And then what we're saying is, is we're saying is, okay, from all of these people, when did they last log in with us? Okay. And so what I'm basically looking at here is if we go back to Atio uh, and back to the individuals, I'm then basically assigning a risk status based on their last login date. So was it under 10 days? Was it between 10 to 10 to 20 days? Or is it 20 days plus essentially? Depending which bracket they fall into, they get assigned a various different risk status associated with that particular person. And so what this automation is then simply doing is it's getting the individuals via the um, uh, kind of company endpoint, then getting all the people associated with that company, and then basically starting to break this whole thing down into like a greater analysis, and then starting to update the actual risk status uh, associated with that particular company as well. Now, that's not the only thing that I have going on with Atio. So if we actually have a look, I have many different automations being built and run across Atio. Another really uh, interesting one is I'm using um, Atio to basically get all of the data from Postdoc. So if we come over here, and we're looking at our people data, I can essentially hit this option here, which is called run user research. And so if I trigger that, this is now going to send a webhook through to this particular automation, which is going to go and look up that user inside of Postdoc and pull all of their information out. And so what this means by pulling their information out is I'm saying, okay, well, how often did they use these features? Um, and what this is then enables my team to do is this is then going to enable them to, when they reach out to the individual being like, hey, I can only see that you used social signals 15 times. I can only see that you use social engagement, for example, five times. Like I really want you to think about this. I can see that you are really active with us 30, 32 times, you logged in 32 times. And so it gives your CS team or whoever it is that instant insight into what's going on. 
So to do this, I set up a webhook via Atio, which um, all that you need to do is go to the workspace settings. Um, and then you can use uh, within developers, you can set up your integration with NA10 and things like that. But I believe there is also somewhere in here um, uh, the ability to create webhooks and search for it. Maybe it's not in settings. Maybe it's in here. Go webhooks. Create a webhook. Here we go. So you can create the create the webhook uh, programmatically um, for you as well, which is really cool. So what we're doing then is once we've assigned the webhook to a certain field inside of Atio, it triggers it. And then what it's doing is it's sending information across on the individual and the user, where it's then basically going and getting that person from Atio, then going and deep diving into Postdoc, and then basically looking up the different events that I want it to look up before then basically updating Atio and sending that information back. And that's just a start of what we're doing with Atio. I'm gonna do another video going over a few more agents that I've actually built to enable my ATIO probably to be one of the most sophisticated uh, and most up-to-date uh, system that is out there. Um, and it's totally free when I'm using it.